the way the pros do it. How's it going guys? Today we're putting a steering wheel on a 350Z. Not that we need to, it just looks cool and who doesn't want to look cool, right? So we'll get rid of this old factory steering wheel. I'm going to keep my cruise control just because I like cruise control. So we're definitely going on some road trips with this guy. So it's nice to have. So we're going to leave that there. But we got a uh, d and quick release. Things, uh, they look... It looks like it'll be okay. You guys can really see it. Just gotta pull it that way. It's splined. So hopefully it'll work out and be nice. So we'll give that guy a shot. And I've already taken it out of the pack, but I bought like the cheapest of cheap always because I'm poor, so I don't I'll buy expensive stuff. Like an Amazon hub, I think I paid like 30 bucks for this thing. Uh, so it looks just like the NRG one. So I'm assuming it's just like a, a, a knockoff of that. But it feels very sturdy. The aluminum's like really, really thick. So we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't break and I don't die and crash into a ditch. So. And for the steering wheel, I didn't. This other stuff, I've already like bought this for the FDR X7, so we're kind of taking parts away from that project for this one. But like I said, there's no way I'm gonna get that car together by the end of the year, or well, of course the year's already over with, so there's no way I'm gonna get that car together to like to go to some events and have fun with, so that's why the 350Z come about. But we got the whole fast steering wheel. Um, don't really know much about them. I just kind of like the name, it sounds cool, so. And, uh, try it out and see how it works out but all right we'll time lapse this and get this thing installed real quick anybody wants to watch it but anyway i was thinking i could probably like just drill some holes right here and just mount it kind of right down here but i think this would be really cool you can kind of this little your buttons actually like clip into this you get the key far work better you don't have to so you can actually take the buttons themselves out so I might just like mount these kind of like on the inside right here, just dremel out so that they'll sit nice and flush. Or under here where your VDC off and all that stuff is, that's going to be kind of turned off permanently anyway. So I was thinking maybe just like put it right over there. You can just reach down, have your cruise work. Just 
disconnect the wires from inside right here. It goes to the, the hub, I guess, where the, you can actually turn. Disconnect that, wire it directly in. That's all you have to do. So, I actually reached out to a tuner and he said he could do some pretty cool things with these uh, with the cruise control buttons. So definitely want these guys. So yeah, that'd be kind of, heck, I might even put them over here on like the radio or something like that. That way I can change it because like we'll be like doing two-step and stuff like that, some fancy stuff. So I know you guys will be looking forward to that video when we get this thing on the dyno. But yeah, so I might do that. I might just put it over here. That way I can change it to where it'll be, you know, you know two-step or whatever. You know, different tuning maps and all that good stuff. Okay, we got it figured out. It had nothing to do with any of that stuff. I'm just an idiot. and didn't have the little AC control thing in, which... I'm guessing since powered up there, I have no idea, but I vaguely remember something like that when I did the hydro on my old 350, but anyway, we have gauges, so that's awesome. Easy fix, sucks I had to be totally clueless and not know over that, but anyway, now I gotta put my car back together. All right, guys, I guess that's going to be it for the steering wheel installation. Um, I really don't want to bore people with like the details of like putting stuff on or doing stuff. I don't think much people will care for it. Um, if y'all do, let me know and I'll change it up. But as of right now, it's just going to be kind of clips like that. But that's pretty much the installation of the steering wheel. Um, everything went good. Uh, even the little cheap hub, I was actually kind of worried about it, the hub adapter. But yeah, it worked fine. Um, yeah, I really have no complaints, I guess. Um, worked out pretty good. I'm really enjoying the steering the wheel. Um, quality of it looks nice and everything, so I'm pumped on it. And I'm not going to put the rest of the car back together because I'm still waiting for my hydro to come in, which will probably be the next video. So look forward to that. I will probably go into details with that because definitely I'm not the first person to put a hydro right here. There's plenty of guys that's done it or that has done it before me so but i'll probably do my own version of it i kind of think i got like a a way of doing it that works out pretty good and uh it'd be like a really cheap uh standalone system or standalone so if you guys are interested in that make sure you subscribe so you can see the next video but that's the uh the cruise control switch um basically like a little connector right here i just I'll go back and unpin the other wires. I just kind of snipped them flush for now. But I'll go back and unpin those so it looks really professional and do this with heat shrink so it's nice. It was just temporary to see if it was actually going to work. And unfortunately, it's not working right now because I got my temperature and gas and RPM working, but my speedo's not working. And from what I'm seeing, it's surely something ABS or wheel speed sensor or something like that. I don't know. But I'll look into that later. But yeah, I'm going to mount this thing somewhere right here. Once I get it all together, I'll do like a, a video of the hydro and how it fits and the switch and where I got it located and all that stuff. But, yep. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm not going to bore y'all too much with me rambling. But make sure you subscribe. Got a lot of cool stuff coming. I'm looking forward to actually getting some seat time with my friends um so i'm pumped on it and uh definitely be some events coming soon so make sure you subscribe and stick around guys we're gonna have a lot of fun um especially if you like seeing tire smoke and burnouts and stuff like that so it should get interesting uh yep subscribe stick around and uh all the support is much appreciated hopefully we'll see you guys out there one day all right later